Hi everyone, this video we are I'm going to look at quadratic graphs and I'm just going to do uh, a couple of examples here to help you out looking at uh, the graphs of quadratic equations. So uh, one question that you may be asked in a test and exam is given the graph what is the equation of the quadratic? So let's look at a couple of these ones here. Um, let's focus on A. Um, I can clearly see the turning point here. So straight away, when I look at a, an equation like this and it's got the turning point here, which is negative 1, negative 4, I'm straight away thinking I want to write it like this, minus something squared plus or minus something. Okay, I want to write it in that form there, the completed the square form. So let me go for it. Um, here I know that the turning point is negative 1, 4. So if I do this... That shows me straight away that the turning point is negative 1 and negative 4 there. So I know that, that that structure is right, and now I just need to check that the y-intercept is correct. So remembering that the y-intercept is when x equals 0. If I put x equals 0 in here, I get this. 1 squared minus 4 is negative 3. Hmm, we've got a problem. The y-intercept is actually 0, negative 1. So the structure is correct. All I need to do now is put a number right here at the start. So let's do that. What number would I need there to make this work? So let's y is negative 1. So I'm basically saying, what's that number at the front? 1 squared minus 4. So we're plus 1 squared is 1. And add 4 to both sides, give me k equals 3. So what I needed at the front there was a 3. Now when I do that, I get the right y-intercept, I get the right turning point, and everything is perfect. Each one of these questions, I could do the exact same thing. So given the turning point, write it in that completed the square form, and then just adjust this number at the front here so that you get the correct y-intercept. Okay, second question here. We've got a graph um, to draw, and we're given the form first, and then we have to action about it. So we're kind of going the opposite way around. So let's do this. Uh, from that graph there, we need to determine the equation of the line of symmetry. That is, the line that goes right down the middle of this quadratic. Well, when I'm looking at this thing here, I know what all of these things do, so it makes it easier for me. I know that this thing here affects how wide it is, whether it's really skinny or really wide. So the two there means it's going to be wider than usual. I know that this part here shifts the quadratic two across to the right. And I know the minus five here shifts it down five. Okay, down five across two. So I could draw this almost straight away. I could always skip straight to D to get the graph of it and then answer all the questions. But let's do it in this order. The equation of the line of symmetry, since we've got moving 2 across to the right, the equation of the line of symmetry is x equals 2. So the whole thing is shifted from being at 0, it's shifted 2 across to the right. Uh, the maximum minimum turning point, stating which it is. Okay, so the turning point of the vertex here is going to be 2, negative 5. We've shifted across 2 and down 5. Because the x squared term is positive, it's always going to be this way up. So that means that that point there is a minimum point for part C. The coordinates of the point where that cuts the y-axis. Remember that a curve cuts the y-axis when x is equal to 0. So we just replace x with 0 in the equation. 2 times negative 2 squared is 4. gives us 3. So 0, 3 is the coordinates of the y-intercept. And D, show these features on the sketch of that graph. Okay, so I was going to skip straight to this one here. So this is going to be a rough sketch across two, down five, and it's going through three up here. Okay, there we go. So there's our point there, zero, three. That's the y-intercept. This point here is going to be two, negative five. Notice this question is not asking us about the x-intercepts here. Um, it's not saying what are these points here. Uh, so this one here is a nice graph that we can draw just from the completed the square form. 
This example, however, we're going to go straight to the x and y intercepts because it's really easy to read them off if you've got the equation in this form here. So the y-axis intercept, again, for this one here, substitute 0 in there, 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 minus 5 is negative 5, 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. So that is the point where this graph will go through the y-axis. What are the x-intercepts? The x-intercepts is when y is equal to 0. So we're solving this quadratic equation. When it's nicely in factorised form, you can see that the answers are negative 1 or 5. The two values of x that make the brackets equal to 0. So if you had one bracket that was something like 2x plus 1, then the value of x that would make that 0 would be negative a half. And the shortcut I use is it's just this number divided by this number and the opposite of that sign. Okay. So that is B. C says the equation of the line of symmetry. The line of symmetry for this one here will be halfway between the x-intercepts because these quadratics are symmetrical. So we want to just average out the x-intercepts basically. So that's 2. So the equation of the line of symmetry here is x equals 2. Remember x equals is a straight line going up and down like that. So that's the equation of x equals 2. D, the nature and location of the turning point. Well, we know the turning point is going to be on this line x equals 2. So to find the y value, we just substitute x equals 2 into the equation. So we've got 2 plus 1 times 2 minus 5. And that gives us 3 times negative 3, which is negative 9. So the turning point here is 2, negative 9. And lastly, sketch the curve. Okay. <coughs> so, um, get rid of that. Very quick sketch. We know it's going through the x-intercepts, which we said were negative 1 and 5. So this is not to scale negative 1 and 5. We know the line of symmetry down the middle is going to be 2. That's going to be going down through here at negative 9. And we also found that it's going through the y-axis at negative 5. Okay, so down there is 2, negative 9, negative 5 here. So, something like that. Let's try and make it rounded at the bottom. A bit better than I did. So negative 1 there, 5 there, negative 5 there. There's our rough sketch of that one. One more to go. <clears throat> For this graph here, determine the similar thing. So we want to come up with a sketch of this thing here. Um, when we're given it in this form here, there's two ways you can do it. You can either try and factorise it or put it in complete of the square form. Uh, in this one here, I think you'll quickly discover that it won't factorise. So if we try and do that, we want two numbers at times to give me one. I'm definitely not going to get negative 6x for those middle terms there, so I know this one doesn't factorise. So what I'm going to do then is to complete the square, which will be a lot easier. So let's do this. 2 squared minus 3x plus 1. So this is 2 x minus 3 over 2 squared minus 9 over 4 plus 1. So I've completed the square there so that x squared minus 3x is now the exact same as this. So half the number in front of the x minus 3 over 2. I've squared that out to give me 9 over 4 and then I subtract off the 9 over 4 so I get back to that. So those two shaded, shaded bits are the same. Now I can expand the bracket. 9 over 4 times 2 is 9 over 2. And then I'll just tidy that number up at the end. So minus 9 over 2 you might think of as minus 4.5 plus 1 is minus 3.5. So it's going to be minus 7 over 2. Okay, now it's in completed the square form. I can get everything that I need. The line of symmetry, that's the first question, what's the line of symmetry? It's going to be x equals 3 over 2. 
that comes from this part here, showing that it's been shifted 3 over 2 to the right. For the nature and location of the turning point. Okay, So reading it off from the completed square form, 3 over 2, negative 7 over 2. Or you could write it in decimals, 1.5, negative 2.5. Sorry, negative 3.5. Maybe three and a half. There we go. C, that's a, it's going to say the y axis intercept. Okay, so again, the y axis intercept is when x is equal to zero. There we go. So 2 times minus 3 over 2 squared is 9 over 4. Now you can get your calculator out now. I'm going to keep going. So this is 9 over 2 minus 7 over 2, which is 2 over 2, or 1. So therefore, the y-axis intercept is 0, 1. And finally, sketch the curve, hence sketch the curve. Okay, so let's put it all together. And again, this is a real rough sketch. So it's going through 1 on the y-axis. The turning point is 1 and a half, negative 3 and a half, down here somewhere. It's definitely going to be this way up because the x squared term is positive. And that's it. So here it is. So that's 3 over 2, and 7 over 2. This point here is 0, 1. And we are done.